Hello friends, welcome to my channel Techno Sujata. Today we will see the basic form tag, their elements and attributes. First we will add doc type structure to start coding. Let's change the name of file title to form tags. Let's start the session with the basic form tag. Form tag defines an HTML form for user input. Form element contains various elements like input, label, select, button, text area, option, opt group, field set and output. Let's start with the input tag. Input tag is the most important tag in form elements. It specifies the input control where user can enter the data. Input tag has a different input types like text, number, password, telephone, hidden, range, email, file. So we will start with the input type text. Input type has a different attributes and one of those is name and ID. You can give any name to your input control. Currently I am giving as F name and ID as a same like a F name. Let's see our changes on browser. You can use a go live server to check your changes on browser. You can see this is our input text control. You can also add a value attribute to your input control. Currently I am adding my name as value to my input control. On browser you can see the value inside the input control. Likewise you can add a different attributes to input control. For now let's jump to our next label tag. Label tag is used to define a label for form elements. Currently I am using this label for my first name control. So we will give the name as a first name. You can give any for attribute for label. Currently I am giving as a F name because I am using for my first name. On browser you can see the label first name along with our input type control. Let's move to our next form tag element that is select element. Select element is a used to create a drop down list in form elements. Currently I have added a label for select tag and this is our gender drop down list. You can see the option element inside the select tags. In select tag you can add name and id attributes and the same name you have to given for the for attribute in label tag. On browser you can see our select element along with the label gender. In this select element you can choose any one of the option but if you want to choose both option then you can add multiple attribute inside select tag and see the result on browser. You can choose both the options with the control and then choose both options. If you don't want to allow select tag to be editable then just add disable attribute inside select tag and let's see the result on browser. You can see the gender element is not editable. Next is text area tag. Text area tag is used to define the multi-line text input control. It has a rows and calls attribute to define the size of text area and the same name and id attributes you can use for text area as you have used for the select and input controls. You can add a value for text area inside the text area tag. Let's save this file and see the result on browser. You can see the value of text area inside this text area input control. You can resize this text area as per your choice. If you want to make a text area read only then just add a read only attribute inside the text area tag. You can also add mean length and max length attribute inside text area tag. Let's see next how we can use the radio type inside input element. Radio button normally presented in groups. Only one radio button can be selected at the same time in a group. Radio button must share the same name to be represented as a group. Value attribute specifies unique value for each radio button. With every radio button I have added unique label. So it specifies this label is associated with input radio buttons. On browser you can see Hindi and English language radio buttons. If I select the Hindi radio button and then English then Hindi radio button will be unselected because it is represented in the same radio groups. If you want to specify pre-select value for radio button then just add checked attribute inside input control. Next we will see how we can use a checkbox type inside input element. We can choose more than one options using input type checkbox. Currently you can see I have added three checkboxes with the three labels. On browser you can see our checkboxes with the value reading, painting and playing. You can choose more than one options for these checkboxes. Let's jump to next field set element. Field set element is a used to group related element in form. It draws a border around form. 
Here you can see I have used a legend tag. It is used to define a caption for fill set element. You can see the border around form elements and this is our caption for fill set element. Next is button tag. Button tag is used to define clickable button. Always add type attribute for button tag to tell the browser what type of button it is. You can add submit reset button type attribute for button tag. On browser you can see the submit button. If you click on this button it will be clickable. Next is opt group element. Opt group tag is used to group related options in select element. In example you can see I have used a label attribute for opt group. It specifies a label attribute for option group. On browser you can see the country list and this list is grouped by the alphabetical order with the help of opt group. Next and last one is output element. Output tag is used to represent the result of calculation. You can see in the example I have added new form tag with the on input method to input form elements and output element. So basically we are calculating the result of two input numbers into the third output element. We'll see how to use on input method in next videos. On browser you can see two input elements with the values 20 plus 15 and if you change any values then value will be calculated in output element. So friends let's wrap up the video for now. We have learned in this video different types of form elements, form tag and their attribute. So friends, if you like my video, please click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Do share with your friends and families. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.